Hi everyone, this is Liam from Phil and today I want to tell you about Whitehoff's game. So again, this is a puzzle to be done in pairs, to tease out uh, in partners, and it begins like this. There is one piece on the chessboard, a blank chessboard with one piece and the piece is the queen, and it begins on h5. The goal of the game is to be the first player to move the queen to a1. There is two players, player one and player two, they both use um, the same piece, the queen. And the rule of the game is the queen can only move either left, down, or diagonally, but it's always closer to a1. They cannot go, um, you know, up closer to the eight row, and they cannot go closer to basically um, h8. So they cannot go diagonally. Um, away from that, they cannot go um, upwards. And once they move from the H file, they cannot return to the H file. So they must always kind of maybe moving this direction. Okay, so if you have two players, assign player one and player two. Player one will go first, player two will go second, and try to be the first person to move the queen to A1, and try not to give your partner an easy move to A1. And most importantly, Decide for yourself whether it's better to be player one or player two. You can play the game once, swap roles, try it again, and see is there a perfect strategy for winning this game. Give it a go and see what you find. Okay, so I'm going to show you a possible solution um, to how this game might play out. So player one will go first, and maybe player one moves down diagonally to what they think is a safe square, to f3. So now player two can't get straight away to a a1 from here. Player two needs to find an awkward square to go to so that player one cannot go straight to a1 then after. So player two might go to here, and now player one, whose goal it is again, they cannot get straight to A1. They'll have to either move here, 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 or there. They cannot go right, they cannot go north or diagonally like that. They must all be moving closer um, to A1. And they're the only options. And once they move to any one of those options, then player two can go straight away to A1. So this is a very good square for player two to have moved to. Player one can go directly to A1, and wherever they move now, they're giving player two an easy win. So maybe they move to here, and now player two goes straight to A1. So our goal is to get to be the first person to, be, to go to A1, so we must find some safe squares to go to in the meantime. In our last game, we found that this was a safe square to go to. So if player two moved here, the next player could not go straight to A1. They had to go to one of these four squares and that gave player two an easy win. Try to find other safe squares using counters on your chessboard. Are there other safe squares on the board that a player can move to, which will definitely guarantee a win. Give it a go and see what you find. Okay, so you shouldn't need too many counters um, to find all the safe squares that the queen should go to for player two to have perfect strategy, or for any player to have perfect strategy, but it's more in favor of player two. So if a player moves here, then this is at least two moves away from A1. So if a player were to move to here, their opponent would have to go to here, there, there, or there, and that would give that person who has moved here an easy win, an easy move to A1. So these two squares now are, they are safe squares. As these two squares are safe squares, any square that is one square away or one move away from these squares are not safe squares. Because if a player were to move to any one square like this one, then their opponent would just move straight to the safe square. And we know that this safe by moving here, it guarantees you to win. So any square that is one step away, one move away from these squares. So this square is not a safe square because by moving here, the opponent then will move there and guarantee themselves a win. These are the winning squares. 
by moving here, you guaranteed yourself a win. The last remaining safe square is this one. By moving here, you will guarantee yourself a win. And to answer the puzzle, it is always best to be player two. If player two sticks to perfect play, which is to move to these squares whenever possible. If player two uses perfect play and uses these squares, they will always win every single time. Try it out now uh, with your partner and later on try it out with someone who hasn't seen the solution and see do they spot it as quickly as you. Best of luck.